Movement in human beings. How do we move from one place to another? We can walk, run or jump from one place to another. And we can also perform many movements while we are sitting still. In the human body, one bone is connected to the other with the help of joints for the free movement of the body. Joints are the places where two or more bones meet. Muscles are attached to the bones and the joints which allow movement. Different types of joints allow different types of movement. Joints Joints are part of the body which are made up of different bones and provide flexibility to our body. The places where two or more bones come together is known as joint. The bones coming together at a joint are held in a place with the help of tissues known as ligaments. Different joints offer different amount of flexibility and movement. On the basis of freedom of movement allowed by joints, we can classify joints as three types. They are immovable or fixed joints, slightly movable joints and freely movable joints. Fibrous joints or fixed joints. These joints do not allow any movement. So these are also called as immovable joints. The edges of two flat bones at this joint are tightly interlocked. For example, most of the bones of the skull, that is cranium. Partially movable joints are cartilaginous joints. Some bones are joined with the help of cartilages. This joint allow only limited movements. Example, joints between the bones of the backbone, joints between ribs and breastbone. Freely movable joints are synovial joints. These are the joints with fluid filled synovial cavity between the surfaces of two bones. Such an arrangement allows considerable movements. Let us check different types of freely movable joints or synovial joints. Ball and socket joint. In this joint, end of one bone is round like a ball. It fits into the socket in other bone and allows maximum movement in all directions. Example, hip bone and shoulder bone. Pivot joint. This joint allows movement in directions such as left and right, up and down. Example, joint between head and neck. Hinge joint. This joint allows movement in one direction only, which is up and down or backward and forward, like the hinges of a door. Example, elbow joint and knee joint. Plane joint. It is also called as gliding joint. These joints formed between two bones which are flat or nearly flat, enabling the bones to slide over each other. This type of joints provide only a small amount of gliding movement. Example, joints between the wrist bones and between the bones of ankle. Saddle joint. In this joint, the opposing surfaces are reciprocally concave and convex. It is found between carpal and metacarpal of thumb. Did you know what is the biggest joint in your body? At the knee joint, three bones connect. Your femur, tibia and patella. Those three large bones require an equally large joint to connect them. That is why your knee joint is the largest joint in your body. 
condyloid joints. These joints consist of an oval-shaped end of one bone fitting into similarly oval-shaped halo of another bone. This is also called as ellipsoidal joint. For example, the joints of the wrist and fingers. We can move both side to side and up and down. X-rays X-ray image of a body part shows only the bones. X-rays are radiations which can pass through the skin and soft tissues. However, X-rays cannot penetrate the bones. Hence, we can see the bones clearly in an X-ray image. X-ray images can be used to study bones and to find out if a bone is fractured or not. X-rays were discovered by German physicist Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen in 1895. Here are few questions for you. Question 1. The joints between vertebrae are Option A. Immovable joints Option B. Slightly movable joints and Option C. Freely movable joints Question 2. The joints between the skull bones are Option A. Slightly movable joints Option B. Freely movable joints Option C. Immovable joints Question 3. Knee joint is Option A. Slightly movable joint Option B. Freely movable joint and Option C. Immovable joints Write down your answers in the comment section given below. You can be the lucky winner and can be featured at the end of our next video. Hurry up! Don't miss this chance! And here are the lucky winners of our previous episodes. If you like our videos, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get regular updates.